Animal Farm was written by George Orwell and published in 1945. This novel reflects the events of the Russian Revolution of 1917. The animals are all clever representations of Russian politicians, authors and workers. Orwell used the novel to make his opinions on Russian leaders heard. Animal Farm is a novel about a group of animals who take control of the farm they live on. The animals get fed up of their master, Farmer Jones, so they want to kick him out. Once they are free of trying Jones, life on the farm is good for a while and there is hope for a happier future or less work better education and more food. Then the trouble brews as the pigs, Napoleon, Snowball, fight for the hearts and minds of the other animals on the farm. Napoleon seizes the power by force and ends up exploiting the animals just as Farmer Jones had done. The novel ends with the pigs behaving and even dressing like the humans. The animals attempted to get rid of in the first place. Old Major delivers a speech to all the farm animals. He points out that their lives are difficult, full of hardship and that they live in the slavery because of the way Farmer Jones treats them. According to Old Major, all men are enemies. All animals are equal and one day there will be a rebellion. He then teaches the animals a song called Beast of England. The song is about animals overthrowing man and being free. Old Major dies three nights later and three pigs, Snowball, Napoleon and Squiller, take old major's teaching and turn it into a way of thinking called animalism. The rebellion comes when Mr. Jones forgets to feed the animals and a fed of cow pushes our way into the store shed to look for food. The rest of the animals go into the help themselves and Mr. Jones and his men try to get the animals back in line but the animals chase them off the farm. It belongs to animals now. The animals rejoice in the victory. They change the name of the farm to Animal Farm and decide on seven commandments to live by that focus on animal equality and avoiding behaving like Jones. The animals are happy. They work well together and more efficiently than Mr. Jones ever did. Boxer, the horse, always makes a huge effort. His motto is, I will work harder. The pigs begin to teach the others to read and write. It is hinted through the Napoleon steals some milk for himself after the first day's harvest. Two pigs, Snowball and Napoleon, Often argued during the meetings, Snowball sets up committees focused on education, reading and writing. He reduces animalism to one idea for the simpler animals, four legs good, two legs bad, and the sheep regularly chanted. Napoleon, however, thinks educating the old animals is a waste of time. He focuses on youngsters. In particular, a little of nine puppies that he takes away from their mother to educate them himself. At this stage, the pigs start taking any extra apples and milk for themselves. Some animals complain, but Squealer pursues them that if the pigs don't get the extra food they need, Jones might return. This is enough to make the other animals agree with him. The inequality between the pigs and others begin here. Jones and his men try to retake the farm 
but the animals fight against the invasion the fight becomes known as the battle of the cow shed awards are given for bravery to snowball and boxer snowball suggests building a windmill napoleon thinks they should spend their time building up food stores instead as the animals are about to vote on the matter napoleon calls his dogs into the barn they are now fully grown and they chase snowball away supplies and food run short and the pigs start trading with the humans they move into the farmhouse sleep in beds and get up an hour later than the other animals an incident occurs with some hens who protest against unfair treatment and refuse to hand their eggs over napoleon stops their food and nine of them die as a result after this napoleon holds show trials where any animal ha- that had spoken against him has to publicly confess their crimes and is then killed the animals finish the windmill for the second time but with longer working hours and less food during another attempt invasion by the men the windmill is blown up the pigs then break another commandment by drinking alcohol to celebrate the victory of the invasion the form is proclaimed a republic and a president is elected but there was only one candidate to vote for napoleon boxer falls while rebuilding the windmill the pigs claim they will look after him but sell him to a horse slaughter squealer lies to the other animals telling them that the napoleon ensured that boxer got the best treatment possible the pigs use the money from the sale of boxer to the buy whiskey time moves on and the pigs grow fatter while the other animals work harder and are given less food they now can't remember if they were better or worse of under the rule of mr jones the pigs learn to walk on two legs and have adopted all mr jones bad habits that old major told them to avoid in his speech they invite the humans they once fought against the farm napoleon declares that the farm will be called manor farm again the animals watching the meeting cannot tell the difference between humans and the pigs this is a summary of animal forms thank you for watching subscribe my channel for more videos